What's up, everyone? What's happening? Welcome and let's get ready for the eighth edition of Weekly Meet B League. This is Keita, your host for the Weekly Meet B League. I'm a streetballer and a founder of a Japanese streetball league called Sin City, and also a FIFA 3x3 player competing on an international pro circuit. All right, I'm here to guide you through the excitements and attractions of B League to the viewers and fans around the world. This time, we will talk about the Ravana updates and other Asian player quotas players and more. So make sure to check us, check out. us out. All right then, let's get it started. Did you check out the game we talked about on April 10th? It was the match between Toyama Grouzis and Sun Rockers Shibuya. That was a very close game that went down to the wire. And it was Kelly who was clutched down the stretch. This loss must have been a very tough one for Mavunga and the Grouzis. So, we should keep our eyes on how they're going to bounce back. Next up, highlights of the next match. The next scheduled live stream match is on April 17th. It's Kawasaki Brave Thunders versus Chiba Jets. Let's introduce the teams. First off, the home team. Second time appearing in the show, Kawasaki Brave Thunders. Their hometown is Kawasaki City in Kanagawa Prefecture and the sports are very popular here. They have recently been on a roll after winning the Emperor's Cup. They are one of the hottest teams in the league right now. They are one of the team with a long history and tradition, but the team have been trying some new things, such as putting some efforts on social media marketing. Even those Japan national team level players in the team are enjoying and willing to take part in the video for their YouTube channel and other social media platforms. It's a worth checking these videos out because it's funny. Brave Thunders have been playing great basketball with three bigs on the court playing at the same time. They are currently third in the Eastern Conference and on the verge of clinching a spot in the championship. The player you need to check is the captain of Japan. Number seven, point guard, Ryusei Shinoyama. Shinoyama, also a captain for his team, is a playmaker who leads the team with his aggressive defense. Let's watch his play first. Okay, behind the back. Oh, oh my goodness, man down. And the shot is good, one more time. Oh my God, I think they better call timeout. I mean, broken ankles on the floor. Oh, okay, a little hezzy. Oh, beautiful dime and a slam. Okay, getting in contact. Oh, keep his bias. Double clutch and one. Look his D, I mean, look his feet. I mean, the offense is going nowhere. And, and the steal? Oh, almost. What a hustle, though. Okay, oh. Shot clock winding down. Pulls up from midcourt. Yeah, and, and he banks it in. Oh my, I mean, <laughs> doesn't even smile. He is the heart and soul of Kawasaki, who always fire up the team. And he is the player you can trust on in the big games. He is for sure one of the guys who can push the Japanese basketball popularity to the next stage. The opposing team is the Chiba Jets. Based in Hunabashi City, Chiba Prefecture, they are rapidly developing into one of the leading franchises in the league. Their team name comes from the jet airplane because there is Narita Airport in Chiba, Japan's biggest international airport. And the jet is a representation and the symbol to carry their hope of the locals and the dreams of kids and take off to the world. Their home uniform color is red, but they will be wearing white away uniforms this weekend instead. Their play style is to create fast-paced, up-tempo game from aggressive defense, and their team philosophy is quite clear. It is even stated on their website. Win at all costs. Always aim for the championship and be the team fans can be proud of. You need to check this player out. He is the first million dollar player of Japan basketball. Number two, point guard, Yuki Togashi. Togashi is a very offensive playmaker who dominates the court with its amazing speed. Let's watch his play here. Okay, dribble down the court. Oh, little baby skip and a step through. And the lay, whoa! He makes it look so easy. And the lay. Okay. Oh, what a pass behind the back. Man, 
gorgeous. Okay, what is he gonna do? Oh my goodness, double spin! How did he do that? Okay, shot clock winding down. Okay, cross hezzy and a high floater. That was beauty. Okay, oh, game on the line. He steps back, puts the defender in the air. He pulls up and it, the shot is good. He is clutch. He is for sure one of the leading player for Japanese national team. He has been recently piling up assists and along with his highly known scoring ability. His game is definitely evolving and the numbers don't lie, recording many double doubles this season. So ladies and gentlemen, the match streaming live on April 17th is the game between Shinoyama and the Kawasaki Brave Thunders taking on Togashi and the Chiba Jets. Who is the best point guard in the league? Don't miss it! Next up, his comeback have made so much impact on and off the court. It's this week's 30, 30 Rabana. Rabana. Thanks for all the messages in the comment section. Keep it coming because we're going to show you his highlight play from this week. Okay, what he's gonna do? 30. Oh, look how he powered his way through the basket. Plus the foul and one. Okay, behind the back, nice one, and a finish. Okay, penetrate. Oh, behind his back, what a dime. One more time, that was beautiful. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, 30 with the power slam. That was so nice, you gotta see it twice. And the benches are loving it too. He played a key role to their first win after his comeback this week. I think his condition is getting better. 30 scores 14 points in his first game back. Let's all look forward to his next game and more highlights. We will be streaming live every single 30 Rabana games on YouTube and Facebook. And regular season is getting close to an end. So you better not miss it. Let's go on to the next segment of the show. Here, we will be explaining and introducing not well-known attractions of the B-League to the viewers. It's called, What's Up B-League? For the eighth time, point eight, strengthening cooperation for improvement of Asian basketball. B-League started close cooperation with the KBL of Korea in 2019 with mainly three things. First, holding a professional level interleague games. For example, they're planning a cup competition during preseason. Second, development of youth players. They have already invited each other's under 15 teams to their country to play for the tournament in the past. Third, creating opportunities for players to play at each other's league. And a great example of this happened this season. Both leagues players transferring to each other's league using their Asian player quotas. Taichi Nakamura signed with the KBL powerhouse Wonju DB Prami. This was the first case ever for Japanese player to challenge the KBL. And Jamin Yang signed with the Shinshu Brave Warriors. He was the first Korean born player ever to play in the B League. They are both promising young players that have experience as a national team candidate. So it will be very interesting to listen to what they went through and how they felt about it. We have interviewed Nakamura, who just finished his first KBL season, and Yang, who is making progress as the season goes on. Let's check this out. Hello, Wonju DB Pro, my Nakamura Taichi. This is my first time in the world. I have been in the world for a long time. I have been in the world for a long time. I have been in the world for a long time. 自分の一人の力だけでは成し得れなかったことなのでこうして歴史の1ページを刻むことができて嬉しいです開幕戦です残念ながら開幕戦は無観客試合でしたですが今までに味わったことのないような気持ちの高ぶりやアドレナリンが全開になり自分自身とてもエキサイトしたのを印象に残っています展開の速さやシュートの精度がとても高いレベルなのが韓国らしいなっていうのを感じました応援の文化や観客の皆さんの熱気も各チームに特徴があってものすごく一体感を感じました
韓国とはレギュレーションが違っていて日本では外国人選手がコートに2人いますし派手なプレーや迫力あるプレーがたくさん見れるのでそれは見ていてとても楽しいと思います川崎の増田選手や三河の阿部選手は SNS でも活躍しているのを見ていました同級生ですし刺激をたくさんもらっています Hi My name is Jae Min Yang I'm playing for Shinshu Brave Warriors and I'm my bank number is 27 Yeah this is my first season as a pro and I'm trying to compete every day and get better every day and I think B League is very high level leagues so there's a lot of things I gotta learn from this league uh, I think like Every team has、uh, like, many set offense. So that's my first impression of B League. And so I compare to KBL, B League is playing two imports at the same time. So that's、uh, the main big different thing, I think. Like I said before, this is my first time as a pro. So I, play for, played, I have played as an amateur before.、So Obviously, pro level is way different, basketball or boosters. So, yeah, this is the biggest thing is different. And I think more, I, we have, I have more fans than before. So, yeah, that's the main thing, I think. Nakamura and Yang, thank you both for the interview. Sounds like they both enjoy the challenge and making the most out of it. We hope there will be many more players following the footsteps of them. And challenge overseas next season. All right, that was a lot. How was this week's weekly meet B League? We are always keeping our eyes on on comment section too. So please let us know if you have any questions over here. We will see you again next Thursday. Till next time, have a good one, everybody. I'm out of here.